Hello guys, it's Riker man. Good evening. Good evening man. So um, I meant to make this video for like a few days ago man, but been very busy. So uh, pretty much everybody has been talking about this already. Everybody knows it already. It's already confirmed blah blah. So I'm late to the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. So uh, Unai Henry has been, um, has got sacked by Arsenal man. It been charged off the club for 18 months. And um, 18 months, it's, yeah, I mean, it wasn't an 18 months to remember, really, man. Because you, you really do didn't do anything that Arsene Wenger didn't do. We went we went to the uh, Europa League final. Big whoops, we lost 4-1, though. We lost 4-1 to a Chelsea that was very weak, man. A weak Chelsea, we lost 4-1 to. There's no way we should have lost 4-1 to Chelsea. Chelsea was weak. Few of the players was hurt. Um, Eden Hazard was just coming back from an injury, man. And Eden Hazard pretty much single-handedly, him and Giroud destroyed Arsenal, man. So... Um, they went on like a 23 game undefeated, but they still did not make it into the top four, bro. They were still outside the top four while it was on, on like a 23 game um, undefeated streak last year. Defense sucks. Um, Arsenal always score goals, but they just came all on to lead. They always um, concede goals and uh, give away uh, wins and give away like uh, draws, man. End up losing the game or um, drawing the game after being up a, a goal or two, man. So it's been a poor tenor for um, Unai Henry. I don't, I, I don't dislike Unai Henry. I don't like the fact that a lot of people like make fun of his accent and make fun of him that like he don't speak English, man. But I think that's very unnecessary, man. That's not fair, really. But um, his time was up, man. His time was up, man. Seven games um, without a win. And that was just unacceptable, man. In my opinion, Arsenal as one of the best team in the Premier League. Uh, probably the third best or fourth best, which, whichever you want to say, man. I believe they definitely have one of the best team in the Premier League. Uh, they have some talented guys. Defense sucks. Really, defense sucks. Not going to lie. Probably one of the worst defensive team in the top six, man. But they could do better. They definitely could do better, man. And uh, you know, Henry, would do, well, he was just not the guy. But he was not producing. Um, he do a lot of stupid stuff like madness, bro. I swear to God, he just like... The, his team selection made no sense, man. I swear he just take the names out of like a plastic bag, man, and just put them on. Um, his formation just keeps switching it up. Um, he never, he been at the club for 18 months, man, and he still doesn't have like a, a official uh, starting 11, bro. His team like varies from week to week, man. And for in order for your team to be very good and consistent, man, you need a consistent formation, a consistent uh, team selection man and he doesn't have that man sometimes you switch out these team tinker tank he's a he's a tinker man bro he's definitely a tinker man he be he put up the wrong squad out there and then he try to fix it as the game all goes on sometimes that works sometimes that doesn't work um he will take off like a um he be down a goal or draw drawing the game and instead of putting like attacking player on to get a get the draw or get the win he put on put on a defender bro sometimes the players doing phenomenally well assisting and goal scoring it will take them out man he seems like he did everything to like sabotage arsenal bro it seems like he did you want to get um get fired man and uh unfortunately man he's lost to frank Furman after being up 1-0 the low atmosphere at emirates stadium in the europa league and uh yeah that that really up 1-0 and lost the game 2-1 man and frankfurt before that frankfurt beat like bars by, uh, by minute like 5-0 or 5-1 and kovac got fired man so frankfurt is pretty much a culprit of getting people fired uh surprisingly last he outlast uh pochettino man pochettino was at a club uh at um at uh tottenham uh, so for like I four months uh saw. four years man he had a poor season this year man uh Lack of um, funding in my belief, in, in my opinion, bro. They definitely should have given more money by some better players for him, but uh, lack of funding really cost him the game. And uh, Tottenham, I believe they knew Arsenal probably would have went for Jose Marino, so they pretty much sacked him real fast so they could get Jose Marino. Um, Tottenham has been doing a phenomenal job on Jose Marino. So right now, Arsenal, um, they got uh, Freddie Lumberg, a former um, Arsenal player, Arsenal legend. He used to coach. I believe the under 18 or under uh, 23 squad, uh, but um, yeah, man. And since this year, he has been the coach, um, the assistant coach for Arsenal. So he stepped up. Um, Arsenal play uh, Norwich City um, early today. They drew two two, man. Not really surprised by that. Arsenal still continue their um, poor away form and poor defense, man. So I'm not sure what all things gonna go, man. But my ideal guy to replace uh, Unai Henry has to be uh, Brandon Rodgers, man. I don't care if we finish out the top six or whatever. And make it to the end of the season. As long as we get Brandon Rogers, bro, I think Brandon Rogers is the guy, bro. I think he's very underrated. He, he, he'll, he'll get result, man. I think that Liverpool lost that title when it was in charge because of uh, Steven Gerrard. Slippy G slipping, man. If Slippy G did not slip, he would have won the title with Liverpool. But and I think him not winning the title with Liverpool and Liverpool not really ma making the signings that he wanted 
Raheem Sterling leaving, um, this guy leaves to what Suarez leaving that really um, kind of um, destroy his um, his career at uh, Liverpool, man. But he's back right now, doing very good with Leicester City. So Brendan Rodgers would be my ide ideal um, I ideal appointment, man. What whichever coach we get, man, we need a coach that can motivate the players, get the best of best out of each place, and um, play um, better defensively, have better defensive play, man. But um, shout out to United Henry, bro. Like, glad he served the club, man, but I'm glad he left, man. So, hopefully, Arsenal could continue and uh, start getting points again, start winning games again, man. And uh, hopefully, win the Europa League or do well and get top four in Premier League, man. But like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, leave a comment, share this video. With that, you boys out of here. Uh, let's talk.